everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd just um, have a look through Isabel's memory box that I keep. If anyone would be interested in watching that, I don't know. But um, it's not really a video that I've seen before, so... Um, this is Isabel's memory box. She got this when she was born in 2015 which seems like ages ago now, I can't believe it's 2017 and she's going to be two next month. It's very sad. But yeah, I just thought I would show you what I keep inside here. So, first things first, when you open it, um, I've just got this little giraffe here and I think this was like the first little soft toy that she got bought um, even before she was born by her grandma and I took it to hospital with me and I've got a photo of her in her hospital crib with this next to her so I thought that would be nice to put in the box because it's quite sentimental and um, worth keeping really so that's in there and then also got this um, Cowngate Pregnancy Diary that I got sent in the post when I was pregnant but um, I've kept the log of like each week of how I was feeling when I was pregnant and um, when I had morning sickness um, when I felt her move and um, when there was complications um, yeah it's just like a week to week update of how I was feeling and what I was going through week by week of um, my pregnancy so I think it's nice that I've actually documented that because I wasn't doing YouTube at the time and it's nice to like look back on because I think you just you forget how it was so that's nice to read over now and then. Um, next I have got this was the very first thing I bought when I found out I was pregnant and um, I bought this when I was about eight, eight weeks pregnant and um, I knew I wasn't going to find out the sex of the baby anyway so I've just gone for a neutral like yellow striped colour and um, I took this to hospital with me and there was this was the very first thing she ever wore so I wanted to put that in the box so it's so tiny look how tiny it is in the feet. so small can't believe she was ever that small so yeah I thought I would keep that and that'd be nice to look back on and um obviously I've got photos of her in this as well next what have I got I'm trying to like do it in order so it sort of makes more sense Yeah, so then these are the scan pictures. My I had a scan at eight weeks pregnant, at twelve weeks and twenty weeks, so yeah, they're all in there, three of them. I'm just not gonna bother doing it in order now because my hands are getting a bit full. But um, I just got her certificate from when she was christened, and the candle that was lit during the service. So got that. And then I just got some cards which I thought were worth keeping. So I've got like happy first birthday with a picture of her from me and Kyron and another first birthday one with a picture from her auntie. And then this is one that I got for Kyron's first Father's Day of him and Isabel. So I thought they were like cards that were worth keeping. Um I have this photo from Isabel's very first Christmas. She was about 10 months old there. So 
that's that. And then I've also got her bib from Christmas Day, which says my first ever Christmas. And I've got pictures of her in this bib as well. So I thought I'd keep that. Um, I kept her number one glittery candle from her first birthday cake. And as well, her little birthday outfit, which is a one with a crown and a little tutu. I'm gutted I didn't actually get any decent photos of her in this, but yeah, thought I'd keep that. Um, and then I've got her little Clark's first shoes box, um, which is like the very first proper shoes that she had um, and the first time we got her feet measured even though they look quite big she's got big feet she's like a six or seven now and these are four and a half g she wasn't walking like properly until 14 months so yeah they're not that small and cute but um so i'd keep them as i like keeping all the first things um and then what else have we got oh Another card that I thought was worth keeping um, from her first birthday. Um, Kyron's little niece made this, so that's her and Isabel and the dog. So I just kept that because I thought it was cute. Um, and then we just got um, a photo album from her christening. So there's just all her like christening photos in there of my family and things look how fat she was <laughs> so yeah that's that um, the last two things in this box I've got another box down the side of me which isn't like a pretty box like this it's just a box um, because there was just too many memories and it's overflowed into another little box but the last thing in this box is which is kind of a bit gross to keep but I didn't want to throw them away is the um, pregnancy tests I took when I found out that I was pregnant with Isabel so I wanted to keep them as well so that's that box Ugh. and then behind me is um, I made this as a little like centerpiece for her first birthday so it's obviously a one um, and then it's just pictures of her from newborn going all the way up to one so yeah thought I'd keep that and then I actually only bought this photo album the other day because I had tons of photos of Isabel um, and I still hadn't put them in an album so yeah, I bought this the other day off Amazon for eight quid, I think, and it's decent enough. But um, I thought you would be able to put a picture of your own baby in here, but you can't. So the front is kind of just a random baby on there, but never mind. So yeah, in the album, I've just got all the photos of me when I was pregnant. And then Isabel when she was newborn can't really show you the pictures very well but yeah and then obviously all the way up until today so yeah I've got that photo album I'll be there all day showing you the photos in there so I'll skip that um next I've shown this like in a video before in one of my day in the lives or something like that but um she got this from Playgroup and it's just like a book of all the little like arts and crafts things she's done while she's been there and some photos of her in Playgroup so um, I definitely wanted to keep those because I think that's really nice to keep and look back on for her when she's older. Um, and then obviously you have to have a baby keepsake book so got bought this when I was pregnant I think um, and again it's just like photos of scans and when I was pregnant I was massive look at that I'm not sure that was even full term either I think I had like a week left or something um, and then I've got her little 
wristbands or do they go on the ankles I can't remember on the ankles I think and um didn't actually have a name for her for two whole weeks so she was just girl of holly <laughs> because um as I said I didn't find out the sex and um, I had a bit of a rough time with the labour and recovery because I had um, an emergency c-section and all that which I will probably do a separate video on at some point but um, yeah um, we didn't get around to naming her for two whole weeks but yeah and then we've got her belly button clamp and picture of Ooh, something's just fallen out picture of her when she was just delivered and yeah um yeah so just everything in here from first birthday first christmas with her in that bib that i just showed you and like first holiday that was last year in spain and then the only page I have left to fill out in this is the first day of school. I don't even want to think about that right now. Um, and then the very last thing in this box, I think, is this, which is out of Echo. It's the um, cute, cute kids competition, which I entered her in this summer. Um, she didn't win but um i definitely wanted to keep the newspaper of her picture in so you know she can say that she was in the newspaper I'm trying to find the photo of her where is she oh there she is so she's just by there so yeah, definitely wanted to keep that and also my friend's baby is in this as well so it's quite nice to keep that as well because they're little friends. Um, yeah, so I think that is everything in her memory box. Obviously I've got like loads more photos and frames around the house and, and all that but this is the thing, these are the things I thought were special and I wanted to keep in her box. Um, let me know if you keep a memory box and what's in yours. Um, and please like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I will see you again in my next one.